Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Shivani Gupta. Welcome. So today I want to talk to you about how to reset your circadian rhythm. So if you haven't heard of what circadian rhythm is, circadian rhythm or circadian clock is a concept that Ayurveda, which is a system of medicine from India that's over 5,000 years old, is what Ayurveda has taught us as the most important way that we can help live a preventive lifestyle, how we can help regulate our body and our energy levels and really invest in our longevity. So the circadian clock is our own internal clock that exists. It's regulated by a group of cells in the brain that helps manage our slew of hormones and our energy levels throughout the day. It's really like a master system that's helping us stay balanced and healthy throughout the day. And so what I like to say is from Ayurveda, either we're swimming uphill in life and fighting against our own rhythms or we're flowing downstream with life, flowing with nature's rhythms, which is much easier for us to do. And so I love teaching about circadian rhythm because once you understand this concept, it can create a huge shift in terms of how you manage your day, how you manage your sleep, and thus how you manage your health. So let's talk about the main ways that we can help reset our circadian clock or circadian rhythm. The first way is by greeting the sun. So if you think of your circadian clock as you and your body living according to nature, because we are from nature, we're going to go back to nature in the end, then nature's rhythm is that the sun rises in the morning around five or six in the morning, that sun is at its highest at noon, then it starts to set. And then that's it. It's darkness. It's time for the moon. And so if we're able to put ourselves back onto that clock with nature, that can create a huge shift in terms of how our body's health is going, our gut health, our hormonal health. Um, if you have any autoimmune conditions or things like that, it's usually that the body is fighting with itself. And so how can we reset the whole clock and system to make it easier? So step one, greeting the sun. So when you wake up in the morning, instead of staying inside behind your tinted windows um, and using your coffee to wake up, utilize the sun. So go outside for your morning coffee, take a 15 minute walk, let the sunlight reset you and connect you to nature's clock first thing in the morning. That will reset your circadian rhythm. It'll wake you up. It'll indicate to the body, it's time to wake up, time to get started, time for all those brain cells to start moving. So that's step one. And also within that set with the sun as well. So when it's reaching evening time, 6, 7 p.m. and the sun is starting to set, you know, society tells us it's important to know everything that's going on, watch the news, hustle, do a side hustle, do more work. That's not true. It's time to wind down. And so eating dinner on time, settling down with your work and your home and all your responsibilities and leaving that last hour of the day is really a time to invest in yourself without too much interruption, without work and, and ramping up, but instead honoring that as your time to settle down just as nature quietens down for a good night's sleep. Now, step two, tip number two, avoid caffeine after midday. So there's a lot of things that we do that are highly stimulating. For example, back in the day, we would wake up with the sun because it would be bright. And then we'd only have lamps or candlelight in the evening. We wouldn't have iPhones and iPads and laptops and all these things that are stimulating us. We'd have our natural hormone secretion of melatonin around 10 p.m. at night. And as that melatonin secretion happens, it supports us for a good night's sleep. But nowadays we're on our devices. We're interrupted by all this blue light. And so if you can cut that off earlier in the night and switch to reading or different healthier habits um, or giving up caffeine earlier in the day is also a big one. Because if we're going to caffeinate into the evening, we're not going to allow ourselves to fall into a deeper, restful sleep at night. Another great way to reset your circadian rhythm is really using sleep rituals, honoring sleep as its own health habit that we have. We put so much time into exercise and moving. We put so much time into diet, but sleep is a good chunk of that circadian clock. Imagine it's a third of the clock if you sleep eight hours a day. There's only 24 hours in a day, right? And so if you look at that last portion as an investment in your health, then building sleep rituals that are in the evening hours help you ease into that last part of the circadian clock. So I have noted here, self-care is amazing in the evenings. If you can leave that last hour to do a few things for yourself, 
whether it's diffuse essential oils, whether it is reading a book that's really lovely and nourishing, whether it is um, taking time to do quiet practices like meditation, journaling, yoga, deep breathing practices like pranayama. There's so many different things that we can do that are nourishing for ourselves, but sometimes we don't have time in the morning or during the day. So if you can shift those practices and just pick up one at a time and start doing those in the evening in that last hour, that's going to be preparation for you to go to sleep. It'll be mentally preparing you for going to sleep. My favorite ritual before bed is tea time. I have a cup of tea about an hour before bed, and that's my cue to my brain. Okay, we're going to ease into a delicious night's sleep. That's all we're doing from here on out. I'm not going to worry about work and the list of things to do. I have a tea that I developed called deep sleep tea within my supplement company, Fusionary Formulas. This one is super delicious and it's also effective because it has brummi, it has ashwagandha, it has cardamom, it has probably 10 different ingredients in it that help you ease into a, a better night's sleep. It eases digestion and the mind to really relax us before sleep. You can also try a chamomile tea or any of the sleep teas that are out there. I'm of course partial to mine, and if you find that your sleep clock is off, if you're having disturbed sleep, interrupted sleep, those are a real setup for disease, for chronic inflammation, for toxin buildup in the body, um, for clogged arteries. There's so many issues that come from poor sleep. And so one more thing that I recommend is you can take a sleep aid to help you get back onto the right rhythm to get a couple of nights of good sleep. And then that way you can rely on that as your consistent good sleep after that. So I made a formula called deep sleep formula specifically to help us get a perfect night's sleep with restful sleep. And it's liquid drops that come in this bottle. You take it, shake it up, sublingual, you put it right under the tongue and you take two to three drops per hour of sleep desired. So what that means is if you're sleeping later and you only are gonna get six hours of sleep, you can take 12 drops and get perfect six hours of deep sleep or a perfect eight hours of sleep. If you have something big the next day or something important going on. Um, I've used it many times if I get a poor night's sleep to ensure that the next night is great and I get back on track quicker because poor sleep is so disruptive to our circadian rhythm. If that's off, our daytime is gonna be off. Our eating is gonna be off. Our energy levels are gonna be off. And sometimes we fall into these cycles and that's so important that we get off that cycle and get back onto a healthy one, get back into sync with nature. So the body is working well, the hormone systems are working well, our gut health is working well, we're feeling energized and amazing, and we can have a great, vibrant, healthy day every single day. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys about circadian rhythm. It's your internal clock and syncing up to it, spending more time in nature, syncing up with the sun in the daytime and in the evening is a powerful way to help our bodies get the sleep we need so we can rejuvenate, clear inflammation, and get healthier each and every day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more every single week. See you soon.